I do want to I do want to talk about this one. I wanted to talk about this before, but I didn't. I want to talk about Sketch. Now, I I haven't seen much from him since the whole Femboy thing happened. But here's my problem with it. The only reason I truly believe that he was able to be caught in that and then be able to come out of it. And if anything else has came out since it first came out, guys, I don't know anything about it. I'm giving my opinions on it from that point. The only reason I believe he was able to just come out of that is because people don't see him as much. Let's be honest with ourselves. If people had seen him as somebody that was in high esteem, somebody who was, <clears throat> and I don't want to be disrespectful to the man, young man, but nobody's respected him in that light. He was seen as more as goofy, uh, a character. Not somebody we're like, oh man. Not somebody that we really respected. I'm, I'm, let's be honest. If that had been Agent Zero, if that had been Duke Dennis, if that had been Kai, Anybody from AMP, if that had been any of the side men, let's just call it what it is. And if that had been, look, if that had been anybody of that nature, it'd be a completely different world. It'd have been a completely different world if they done that and they came out as a femboy and they got caught doing that kind of wild stuff. But because we don't see Sketch, and it sounds horrible to say this, but because Sketch isn't even seen on the same tier as those men. Nobody cared. And y'all saw how he was defended. He was defended because people thought that we were picking or bullying him about somebody. So they felt like they had to come to be his rescue because they don't think that Sketch had the ability to defend himself. It's different when you're defending somebody and they have the ability to defend themselves because normally when somebody has the ability to defend themselves, you wait for them to defend themselves. You be like, I want to hear what he has to say about it. But I don't think anybody thought that Sketch was going to give any good explanation. And everybody thought that, oh, I got to go rescue him. I got to save him because people are going to. First of all, my personal opinion is that Sketch, because of his past, we shouldn't look up to him as anything other than a guy who's on the Internet. I don't think he's inspirational. I don't think he's somebody that I sh we should follow after or idolize. That's crazy. I don't think it's anything that kids should idolize. I don't think any kid should be following Sketch and be like, yeah, I want to be like Sketch. No, this is a man who just recently, he said he was addicted. That is not from that long ago. It takes years of therapy. It may take years of counseling, years of something. If you were in that industry doing that stuff with other men, and if you're in that industry, period. Now, this is for women, too. But if you're in that industry at all, doing those kind of things, if you had enough, if you saw yourself in, if you saw yourself in such a light that you felt like you had to put yourself on camera like that and do those kind of things with certain men, then, you, yeah, you don't really need to be the idol or be what kids should look up to because you haven't done it or you stopped doing it. You should be a person be like, okay, well... That's what I did. I, and then I, I honestly would come out and say, just flat out say, don't follow me, kids. Don't even be like me, kids. And you should probably stay in the adult area. And we know how Sketch talks. And this is a bigger, a little bit of a bigger issue. People who who know that their main market is kids and they still act sexual and they still say sexual things and still say, gotcha, and look at girls' booties. It's just ruining our young men. And so I don't agree with a lot of the streamers that we have now that are the biggest, but at the end of the day, that's what can make you big. I'm not here to say that these individuals aren't skilled. They put in hours and hours of work, but they are influencers at the end of the day, and they do influence our young men to really look at women the way they do. And I don't think that helps society. Um, but for us to uphold somebody who wasn't really promoting that, not saying Sketch hasn't said things, because I've heard his freestyles. I know Sketch can be very uh, in that sexual light. But for us not to say, hey, or at least I think it was... <laughs> I think when people said that you can't make fun of him or you can't say anything about him, that's just ridiculous to me. Um, everybody gets made fun of. Everybody gets made into a meme, no matter the situation or whatever happens. So for us to come out and defend him as if he is should be shielded from all that, if that happened to any other, any other individual who was well-respected, they would have got memed. They would have got made fun of. We are seeing it happen right now with the whole situation with love or Diddy, 
People are memeing the hell out of that. Real people got hurt in that situation. Real people were harmed and there was a lot of violence and there was a lot of people who were being forced to do something they didn't want to. But yet Diddy is still getting made fun of and he's still a meme. Like little little uh young adults are still making it a joke, even though it's a very serious act with a joke. But when it comes to sketch, it was too serious. We couldn't say anything. Even though Diddy was doing the same thing Sketch was doing with other men, we have to protect Sketch because he just has no capacity to protect himself. He did what he did. It is what it is. At no point. So we don't have to defend this man. And I don't think this, this man has to be looked up to. Now, as far as I know, he's gone. I haven't seen anything about him. But when the situation came out, I kept my mouth shut and I came back to say something. I know my opinion doesn't hold any weight, but for the men who do watch this, don't ever feel like you have to protect somebody, um, especially somebody who has that kind of stuff. I think a person like that shouldn't be. Now, to be fair, Sketch wasn't trying to be a role model. It's not like he got famous because of the way he acts. And people see people like him. Um, and as far as I know, he's just a everything's normal with him. But people still see him as somebody who has mental illness or not mental illness, but a mental disability. Let's just let's call it what it is. People see him as somebody who has a mental disability. As far as I know, he has not come out and said he has a mental disability. And even if he did, even if he did, if that's the case, then this is a person that we can't um, this is a person that we can't expect to be our guiding light. OK, if that's how y'all want to treat him, which is. I don't think we should if he said he's not. Then treat him like you would anybody else. There's no need to patronize the man. And I understand that he said that if anything happened, he was going to take his life. Um, and that's a sad situation. But you, you hit it from the people. And you come out to say that if you had got found out, you're going to take your life. There are some horrible things that a lot of people have done. I'm sure they don't ever want to come to the light. But my man, I feel like it would have been much better to come out before then and just say it is what it is. That would have been the better way to go about it. But hindsight's always 2020. The man's moved on from it. We move forward. But I don't think we should ever have to bow down to anybody if they come out and we find out that they were doing um, adult films, doing any type of pornography, and then be like, yeah, we're going to hold them up as our guiding light. That's just fucking stupid. I would say the same shit about me. I would say never tell you guys, even though, because I've had horrible things, I would never say, hey, let me be your guiding light. I would tell you what not to do. And like I said, I'm not throwing all this on sketch. He should have came out and said something when he saw the fame coming, but he didn't. And then he got busted. But the thing is, is that doesn't mean we have to make him the guiding light. Like I said, I'm not talking directly to sketch because as far as I've seen, he didn't try to be that. He was just being him goofy self and he happened to become famous. But for everybody else who's trying to p push him up because they think he has a mental disability or they're trying to push him up because they feel like he can't protect them, y'all ain't got to do that. Let the man defend himself. Okay, and for you guys to bat for you guys to crush people or say that people are idiot or homophobes because we said, hey, that's kind of weird. He's a fin boy and he's one of the idols that these kids are looking up to. That is, that is not it's not right for us to be like, oh well, well, you can't say that. The fuck we can. Yes, we can. Absolutely. A man who did pornography, just like we do with the women, somebody who does pornography is not somebody we're going to be like, OK, they should be good for our kids. He's only been out of it two years. This man ain't as far as I know, this man ain't it's, even if this man is in counseling or therapy or whatever, it's going to take years to come out of that because pornography is a very evil, deep world. There's a lot of things that come in, comes with putting yourself on camera and doing stuff with people that you don't know or you do know. It's something that's going to take years for the man to get over. So, no, he can't be the guiding light. He can't be something to be inspired to be. We can't do anything with that. This is the man who's going to have to take years to get it together. It happens all the time with celebrities. It'll happen, it'll happen more with streamers now. Streamers are the new celebrities. We all take years to come out of that. Hell, I went through counseling for a long ass time. I Because y'all know I grew up a porn addict. So, I went through a lot of therapy. I had to go through a lot of counselors. And, I, and even then, I have never said that I will be a role model for kids. I don't ever want to be a role model for kids. And even when I did work with kids, I never 
said to be like me, don't follow me. I was there to do my damn job. I got paid to do a certain job. I'm good at teaching and that's all I could do. I'm completely out of that industry. Completely out of that industry. And I've never on YouTube once tried to be an inspiration or a like to the kids. Because I know I have a past that I don't think that I should be that. So I've always kept my shit adult oriented. But I have to work. And that's where my profession was. But I'm out of that completely. You know, and it's just it's just crazy to me that the, we still have to hold him up in such a light. And we shouldn't. If you're a porn addict, hear me out and hear me, hear me true. Hear me true. If you're a porn addict or you're addicted to porn anymore at any point, I think it's best that you don't be that. Speak strictly to adults. That's what I do, and that's what it always should be. How it is. Pornography is a deep, deep issue that has to be dealt with. And most of the time when you're a porn addict, You've been a porn addict since you were a teenager and you go well into your adulthood, whether that be five, six, seven, eight, nine years or a decade. Think about it from just 13 to 23. That's a decade of looking at porn every day. OK, so you could be 25 years old and be 12 years deep into an addiction. And you got to be careful. Don't be that. Keep your shit adult oriented. Make that very clear. Now, if somebody comes out and says something or a kids happen to be want to follow you. There's nothing you could do about that. But you always make it very clear that you do not want to be a role model. Like Charles Barkley said, I'm not a fucking role model. And I believe that's the same to be. So we shouldn't have made sketch that. But I'm not blaming him. I'm blaming the fucking people around him. That man was probably not planning on being as big as he was. But y'all made him that way. And then the second he found out that he had a past, y'all were quick to defend him, but not quick to defend the young lady who says she wanted to be a Christian now. When she got off OnlyFans models, that no motherfucker wanted to come to her defense. But we come all the way to sketches because y'all think what y'all think. Anyway, that's my feelings on all that.